Let's start off with a favorite. You'll start with two players in the paint, with one making a cut to the corner and the other making a cut to the wing. The ball is passed to the wing, and the inbounder will then make a quick cut towards the basket, while this player will lift towards the wing, looking for a dribble handoff. As the handoff takes place, it should open up the space to allow the player to make a quick slip towards the basket. This play will be initiated with a screen here and a cut. The player will come off the cut, then set a screen here. While this takes place, we'll also see this screen for this cut. The inbounder will then decide between these two players, here making the pass out to the wing for an open three. This play will start with three players along the free throw line, with these two players setting screens for this player to make a cut around them, while this player finds the ball. As the pass is made, this player will cut back this direction, and the screeners will readjust the angles of their screens. The pass is made, the screens are set, and the inbounder makes a basket cut, clearing space here for a pass and shot. In this play, we'll use a pin down screen followed by a cut. The player using the screen will look to receive the pass, and as he does so, the two of these players will exchange. As that takes place, this player will receive the pass, while the original screener will back screen for the inbounder, who will make a basket cut off the screen and find the ball. In this play, we will have this player set a rub screen for this player who will cut to the corner and look for a pass. As he receives the pass, he will dribble towards the wing, while this player sets a back screen for this basket cut. The back screen will often freeze the defender, opening up just enough space to find a dribble handoff and shot. Thanks for watching.